The Ethics of Genetically Modified Humans, Gattaca Edition. Entering a genetically modified future isn't a matter of if, but when. How soon is when? Well, let's take a look at the sci-fi classic Gattaca to find out. In the world of Gattaca, in the not-so-distant future, children are not born in mommies, but in labs. Meet Vincent Freeman, a genetically inferior individual who wants to reach for the stars, literally. His one goal in life is to blast off into space and explore Titan. Unfortunately for him, he's been born into a world of genetically modified babies, as a baby who's not genetically modified. To make matters worse, he also has a life-threatening heart condition. His brother, on the other hand, is close to perfect. This all changes when Vincent assumes the identity of a genetically modified adult named Jerome. With enough money and the willingness to succeed, Vincent joins the Gattaca space program as an official employee. All is well until the death of a Gattaca officer sends Vincent on a cat and mouse chase with the police and his own brother. Vincent manages to secure his spot aboard a spaceship while his helpful genetically superior friend toasts himself in a blaze of self-pity. So, how close are we to a Gattaca-like future? Well, very. There's a good chance we could experience a change such as this in our lifetime. How would this happen? Well, to have genetic modification, all you have to do is insert or delete a few DNA letters in the organism's genome to add in a new gene and voila! Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, it's not. Making genetic modifications can currently be completed in two ways. The first, by directly injecting genome editors into one-cell embryos. The second, by cloning a genetically modified cell using somatic cell nuclear transfer. While this might sound like science fiction, it's real and it's happening. This genetic science is extremely controversial. The largest roadblock genetic modification would face would not be the science of it, but the ethics. What are these ethics? Well, in the world of Gattaca, children who are born naturally are labeled as invalids and segregated from the valids. They can't properly attend schools or pursue great careers given that their resume isn't a sheet of paper, but their DNA. When our society does reach its Gattaca potential, there could be severe ethical backlash, at least in the short term. There's no doubt that genetically modifying your child with specific traits and genetics would be costly. While in its infancy, it's likely that only the rich would be able to afford a genetically modified birth. While the 1% lavishly constructs their children in a Build-A-Bear for babies, designing them with impressive athletic traits and dashingly good looks, the middle class and poor would be forced to spin the wheel of chance, chance that could result in their child having genetic dispositions like Vincent's. Because of this, there would be worldwide outrage. However, as decades would pass, the price of these genetic procedures would drop significantly. As the greater population would finally be able to afford the same treatment as the wealthy, society would stabilize and shift as the playing field would finally be leveled. Although, humanity would still need to endure decades of discrimination. Is it right for generations of individuals to go through discrimination just so that humanity can move forward technologically? We say no. Although we're all for advancing humanity, stamping a price tag on advancement would not be the right thing to do. The exclusivity of the initial phase of designer babies would just be plain unethical. What do you think? Are genetically modified humans ethical? If you had a child, would you genetically modify them? Even if it came with an expensive price tag? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you soon.